Hey, welcome to One Word Suggestion. I'm your host, Aaron Thompson, and this week's word is acceptance. For inspiration, can I please get a one word suggestion? One word suggestion. One word suggestion. One word suggestion. Welcome to the podcast. For those of you who don't already know, every week I take one word suggested by you and use it as a leaping off point to explore the benefits of improv as they relate to life on and off the stage. This week's word, acceptance, was suggested by Tanya. In the context of improv, people usually frame acceptance around the concept of yes and. And that makes sense. After all, yes is all about accepting the reality or idea, and and is all about building on that reality or idea and taking it somewhere awesome. This acceptance is crucial for creating successful communication and scenes people want to watch. And it's a great tool for problem solving and innovation too, especially when it's combined with divergent and convergent thinking. And there's no doubt that getting better at saying yes can help you get more out of life. People who say no live in the comfort and security of their own world. But people who say yes live lives filled with glorious adventure. But since yes and has been so well covered by others, I want to talk about acceptance in the context of community instead. Because, as you may have heard in a previous episode, even though LMA is the fastest growing comedy school in Australia, we're all about community first and comedy second. In fact, acceptance and community is a founding principle at LMA. When I first came back to Sydney after studying improv in LA back in 2012, I found the existing scene to be small, clicky, and really hard to crack into. I didn't feel easily accepted. Maybe it was my accent. Either way, it was that experience that inspired me to build LMA into the antithesis of that. I wanted to create the sense of connection and warm, welcoming community that exists at some of the top schools in the U.S., And with the help of our wonderful teachers, overseas advisors, our support team, and students, we have. Look at any photo from one of our classes or shows, and you'll see remarkable diversity and undeniable joy. And this is a direct byproduct of the accepting culture and community we've built. And it's representative of the type of culture we believe is possible to create in the workplace, too. Our corporate training spends a lot of time endowing people with tools for more acceptance, listening, agreement, finding the good supporting each other's ideas, finding your way through failure, and more. At the end of the day, LMA exists to explore and apply the philosophies of improv and comedy in general as a tool for self-expression and personal growth so that we can all live more authentic, meaningful lives and thrive together as a hilarious, open, and accepting community. I believe, and have witnessed over and over again, that through the exploration of comedy, people can and do more than discover or develop their inner funny bone. They transform as humans into bigger, better, truer versions of themselves, often gaining new levels of confidence, self-respect, and joy along the way. In other words, they learn to accept themselves and others for the beautiful humans they are. So that's my take on acceptance. Thanks for the great suggestion, Tanya. If you want to suggest a word for next week or add your perspective, drop me a note in the comments, or better yet, write a review and include your word there. I'm making one of these every week for a year, so definitely subscribe, like, share, and all that stuff. And in the meantime, if you're interested in improv for personal growth, professional achievement, or just for fun, my suggestion is to get yourself into an improv class or book a corporate training workshop for your team. You can learn all about LMA's programs at www.lma.training. Thanks for listening. One Word Suggestion is brought to you by LMA Professional Development. Please visit us at www.lma.training for more info. 